amongst all the old guard, Lewis Reese Zammett is either one, but, and I say that well, maybe because you're smiling, but also my best mate is team manager at Gloucester. Big shout out, Ravo. And George Skivington. It's so funny because when he carves up like he did uh, during the fallow week and he was on the bench, he comes on and he carves up. It's ridiculous to see him. And then they go on BT to the coach, Skivs, and say, oh, Lewis, Lewis resign. You can see he don't want to talk about it. He don't want to talk him up because he knows <laughs> it's probably going to cost him 300 grand to resign him on top of what he's already getting paid. But how good, good is Is he the shining light or is there a few? I know you've gone through and we don't want to put a lot of kind of heat or pressure on him no look he he has got what you can't coach and that's express pace <clears throat> you know and I think back to the Scotland game in 21 that final try that he scored he scored two tries in that game but the, the second try where he kicked ahead uh, and the gas that he showed to go past Vandermeer I think mm. and it might have even been uh, who was at the back that day was it Hoggy Hogg we'll say yeah, it, yeah, yeah we'll yeah, say yeah. it was yeah, <laughs> I remember because it was on but, my side. I was pitch side, and it was it was during COVID, right? Yeah, as well. yeah, and he, he just you know that's that's just genuine pace. But also to kick the ball at pace like he did with the control that he had. Um, so there's more to him than just just speed as well. I think he put in a twenty two to twenty two touch finder in that game as well in the second half, and it, you know he's got a big boot on him. Um, you know, and the, the scary thing is he's still developing. He's going to get better and better. You know, other side, side of his game he's, he's worked on, which has improved, is his high ball work. You know, and his defensive side of the game will get better as well. And, um, you know, you've got a world-class player there in a year or two's time. And, you know, Dowie Lake's another one. You know, unfortunately, again, he's a young guy that's come through. He's big, he's powerful. Um, you saw in South Africa, you know, he scored a great try in the second test using his brute strength. Um, again, he's one that uh, has got a big future in the game, and, and you know he, he, for me, will be the successor for Ken Owens. Um, uh, there, there are a few guys, you know, the Jack David Morgan. Jenkins, Jack, Jack Morgan, yeah, another good player. You know, um, needs a run of games. I think uh, you know he's a seven. Um, I think he's a seven. Yeah, look, yeah. He, he, he's he's not that tall, Jack. Mm. Um, you know, and, and tips. I guess after the World Cup, you know, that, that might be his swan song if he if he's if he gets selected to go to the World Cup. Um, and you know him, Tommy Rafael. Don't forget Tane Basham, who's who been out injured. You know, he, he's had 10, 11 Test matches now. So Wales is really well served with with sevens. Um, so look, there are some good young players coming through, and I think now it's just. Uh, bit of time with this coaching group as well. It's not just about the players having eight weeks together, um, <clears throat> but that coaching group's new and they've only had, you know, what is it, six weeks together probably. 